There we go. Pedal to the metal. Let's see how far this baby can go. I'll try and jump the fuel tank, shall I? And he lost his wheels. And boom. Yeah, that didn't really go <laughs> as expected. Uh, okay. Hey there guys, Spexy here. Welcome back to Retro Specs. I am in a game that of course needs no introduction. It is Brick Rigs. Now, I've never made a video on this game before, which is somewhat surprising, but then I have something to admit, and that is that I am pretty bad at building in this game. However, it seems you guys do not have the same issues, and there's some awesome workshop content, which I'm gonna show a little bit later on. First of all though, I wanna say how this game has changed so much. Cool music, by the way, some funky rock tones there, uh, and also extra modes. So we used to have the city sandbox and the racetrack sandbox. Those I remember from when I played this at the beginning. I bought this game on day one hoping to uh, bring out some videos and never really did. So it has changed so much since then and I haven't really played it. We have the desert sandbox, the grid map sandbox, the canyon sandbox, the desert zombie mode, the city battle and the canyon battle. And I want to check a couple of these out. So I'm most intrigued about the zombie mode because guns in Britwigs? Are you sure guys? This was never part of the brief. I thought it was about building vehicles and it seems now we've turned it into a first person shooter. So I need to try this out. Well that looks pretty cool. Handles pretty nicely too. Love the uh, look of the weapon there. A little brick rig hand. Pretty cool. Uh, yeah, okay, so a wave has started. Where are they coming from? I'm guessing down these mountains. Well, there's one I can see. Uh, anything from over this direction? No, they'll go for that one that was over there. We'll take it to him a little bit. Let's get out of the circle. Let's see, can I? Yes, I can right click for iron sights. Let's get him down. Headshot. Get down. Another one gone. Oh, he did quite a lot of damage. I was 40% of my health from that bite. How he bit me, I'm not sure. He has no mouth. Uh, oh, down. There you go. We're, wave one complete, guys. Okay, so what are these? Fast reload. It's like an upgrade, then, is it? Uh, ammunition. Okay. Random weapons. And upgrade weapon. And each of those costs. I've got $650, it seems. I need to make more money, so that I get the money from killing the zombies. I noticed that came up in the bottom of the screen. Uh, so let's kill some more. Earn some more. So that I can get myself a better weapon. Where is that one? Reload while you get a chance. Oh! Run! If I survive this, I'm going to be wholly surprised. <laughs> it didn't happen. I didn't think it would. Brains, please! Lovely stickers, guys. But you've got no mouths. You can't eat my brains. So what's the point of asking for them? Wave two, it seems I panicked. And that caused the issue. Okay, so here we are again. We know we need a thousand. I'm guessing we lost our money. Yes, we did. So we need to kill the first wave and the second wave in order to get enough to get, I guess, a random weapon. Because the pistol really isn't all that good, let's be honest. So let's see if we can take it to them again. I don't know how far we can go. Can we go up these hills? I'm not sure. I don't need to at the moment, but okay. Well, that should have been a headshot, surely. Okay, let's go. Where are they? There's two left alive. Okay, there they are, both of them. One down there. And one down there. Okay, reload now. In between rounds would be a good idea. It's the only weapon I have is a pistol. I need to make sure that I've got enough ammo to uh, at least last a few minutes. So let's see. Wherever the next round coming from. Where are they? Where are you? Get your plastic butts down here. I need to break you apart. Blow your shiny heads clean off. As your mouths and faces have already been blown off it seems. Uh, okay. Yeah, kill him. I've only got 20% energy now. What the hell? Seven of them left alive. No idea where five of them are. Uh, one of them was behind me, it seems. <laughs> okay. That's nice. I'm going again, guys. Okay, we got this. We can do this. Wave one, no issue. Wave two, yeah. We've lost twice in that wave now. We need to sort of up our game a little bit. Got to get better at this. Okay, so. 
Wave 1 has started. Where the hell are they? No idea. There's five of them. There's one, there's two, there's three. That's good, we can see three. One down. Don't panic! Okay, reload, that's it. There's one after this guy, and where is it? There it is. Okay, clean shot, please. What? That should have gone down. Okay, that's him down. We can reload. We've got 100% health, so we've got a good chance here of getting through wave two. Wave two has just started. Where are they coming from? Come on. Where are you? Where are you? There's one. I'm going over there. There's another. Okay, let's take it to the... Oh, there's two. He's gone. I don't know one. I don't want to hang around too much. No, okay, there's loads over there. At least I know they're all in one direction now. Right up. I'll get rid of this guy. Reload, please. Reload. The last one. Ah. Oh. Yes, quick, get over there, get that random weapon. We need the random weapon. Is it this box? Is it this box? No, it's this one over here. Quick. Oh, what have we got, what have we got, what have we got? We got a machine gun, guys. Yes, loving it. Where are they coming from? There's one. <laughs> now you're in for it, mate. There's no chance now that you're gonna survive with me. Oh, and the machine gun. Uh, seems you can't go too far up the hills. There is a limit to how far it's gonna let you go. Get him in the head. There you go. Take him down quickly. Oh, beautiful. Reload, please. There's six alive and I'm uh, very mindful of the fact that they could be behind me. Okay. That's it, we got them. How much money did we earn out of that? Can I upgrade this because I like it? Uh, upgrade, upgrade weapon. Where is it? Upgrade weapon. Come on, let me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Better sights. Loving it. Bring on those zombie scumbags. From a distance. Yeah, that's going to make it a little bit easier. But maybe we don't want to make, make sure we're not getting snuck up on. That won't help. At least if we've got distance on them, we can reload. This is the plan. Okay. Reload Spexy, get it done. 12 of these guys left. Small burst, small burst seems to work. No! No! I did so well there. There's all five of them and they're all in front of me. Yeah, I could have done better than that. I'm gonna give it one more go, guys. Okay, so here we are again. We're gonna get a good weapon again. We need a machine gun like that. Two waves to go before we can get anything. Uh, let's get those two waves going. So the first wave started just now. Where are they? There's one up there. Bring your shiny butt down here, guy. Let's get you up. There you go. And you too. Anyone else? You three. Okay, let's go. Wave one, it seems there's only one alive. There he is. And clean shot, please. Down you go. So wave two, bring it on, please. Let's get that reloaded. I'm ready for you. Right. There are now three, four, five. They're spawning in. So let's uh, let's take them out. So it's a wave of ten zombies. There's now nine. There's still a while over there. Come on, it's now eight. Seven, let's move. Five, reload. What? Four, three, two. No, not a reload now. Oh, that was luck. Okay, that's wave two done. We want a random weapon. Let's bring it on. What is this? 
Rocket launcher against zombies. Are you sure? That, that spells disaster in my book. Okay, we're going to give it a go, though. Okay, what's the best way of doing this? I've got four shots. And it seems... Let's see where that stops. I guess it's going to stop at 12. Uh, 15, maybe. 15 zombies with four rounds. <laughs> four shells from a rocket launcher, 15 zombies. I need to group these guys together. I can't do it any other way. So, okay, let's use the scenery here, then, to jump over... See if we can bunch these guys together in a section so I can blow them all up in one go. I jump over there, boom. Let's try going down. Jump. Ah! I kind of got the idea of grouping them, but I only had four shots. It was always going to be hard. Well, that, guys, is cool. I must admit, the zombie mode, I like it. Maybe they're going to add some more first person modes. Maybe like a, a multiplayer. First person kind of captured a flag thing would be quite cool. Well, I'm going to go into a different mode now. I'm going to exit. Oh, actually, here we are. That this will do. This is the desert mode. I was going to come here anyway, so thank you, game, for doing that. Now, I wanted to show you a couple of things that you guys have made in the workshop. Like I said before, I'm not very good at building. I have built something. I'm going to quickly show you what that was. Uh, this was it. It was the Ecto-1. Now, you know I like Ghostbusters. I like the Ecto-1. I built it in Scrap Mechanic, but I built it in Brit Rigs first. Um, and, yeah, it's not the most impressive of vehicles. It does drive poorly. Um, it isn't very impressive, I have to say. It falls to bits very easily. Yeah, I'm not overly impressed with it, but uh, I did try. That's what I mean when I say that I'm not very good at building in this game. So you guys have released quite a lot of stuff to the workshop. There's tons of things been uploaded. Some cool military vehicles, some... Pretty cool off-road vehicles, something I'm going to look at later there. Um, yeah, but I want to try out something off-road. I'm going to try out this Hunter takedown 4x4. Now, that was by Batteries. Let's um, open that then, and let's spawn it in. So, this is an off-road. As you can see, it does have suspension. All pretty cool. It's even done the drive shaft underneath there. Awesome work. Drives pretty well. Oh, there's a ramp over there. Should I, should I try that? Okay, let, let's actually no. There's a big ramp there. Now, this should get some air, I should think. If I go up that ramp there, see how far along it I can jump, and then maybe make a marker, and then try it with some of the other vehicles and see how far they get. Okay, can I actually jump this? Do you think? Let's try. So I'm gonna reverse it here. We'll have a run up, I guess, and let's go from here then. Rev it. There we go. Pedal to the metal. Let's see how far this baby can go. I'll try and jump the fuel tank, shall I? And he lost his wheel. And boom. Yeah, that didn't really go <laughs> as expected. Yeah, and I wasn't really trying for that. That wasn't what I was aiming for. Uh, okay. Let's uh, bring it back. Oh, don't jump out. Bring it back. Let's go again. Uh, maybe this time I won't go up that one and try and jump the fuel tanks. It doesn't seem to be that good an idea, does it? Let's try this ramp here, the one that goes skyward, and see if I can actually jump over this platform. Okay, so we're lined up. I, I lined it up there, and then it just span out, skidded. Okay, let's reverse, 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 reverse. A little bit more run up. Let's say we can run up from the house. So we can go as far as from the garage, which is just here. Every vehicle I try will be able to go from the same place. See how far we can get with this. So, get the ramp nice and straight. And he is clean over. Uh, nose dive. Oh, I didn't go too well. He's got one wheel remaining. And he made it, well, quite a distance, I think. That's not too bad at all. I think he did all right, to be honest with you. Yeah, I, I don't think you, I could have expected him to have done much better. So we'll leave him where he is. Let's see if the next one can do any better. Okay, so we tried the hunter take down monster truck. Did pretty well. Let's try something else then. What about the BKG rally? This is by Trance. Uh, it's a buggy. So this may be pretty good on a ramp. Let's bring it in. And let's do the same again. Let's line it up with that ramp. Oh, this drifts. Oh, and donuts like crazy. Yeah, I like this. 
Okay, this has got potential, I think. So let's line it up to the ramp. A little bit drifty. Might be hard to keep this in a straight line. So the ramp is down there. We said from the garage, which was here. Okay, let's go. I want to steer too much because this thing will sort of drift out. Okay, up it goes. Oh, clearly it gets oh, ho, 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 further than the hunter. We can't take the whole of that distance because that was actually made better by the wind farm there. Uh, but it seems like we would probably have landed definitely further than the hunter. We were still in the air when we came through that. So I would have guessed we'd have come over here somewhere. Uh, I, I, I think we're going to have to guess it, but I think we could have probably come over to about here with a clear landing. Uh, we definitely wouldn't have landed in one piece. The height was too great. We definitely would have shattered. But let's try another. Why wouldn't we try a Land Rover? I mean, it's made for off-road, surely? Uh, not made for jumps, necessarily, but it's definitely made for off-road, so it should not have much of a problem in getting up the ramp. Whether it will get very far is another thing. So let's bring it in. Now, who was that by? Sorry, I didn't check there. Let's have a quick look. Let's just have a quick look there, and I don't want to leave anybody out. So this was Land Rover Series 3. Oh, it was also by Batteries. So that was the guy that gave us the Hunter Takedown also. So that's two there. Um, by the same guy so let's come back out and let's get in it now and see how this thing goes then I would imagine this will be reasonably good oh am I in the passenger seat or am I in the driver's seat I'm in the driver's seat now okay so again from the same distance let's go from the edge of the house here uh, let's line it up first back it up this way a little and we can go from about here. Line it up, please. Straighten it out, Spexy. This should be actually easier to drive. It's not as drifty. It's just my driving. <laughs> okay, let's go then. Let's see how far this Land Rover can actually get. Now, it's not got the speed of the other ones. Even with the uh, run up there, I think it's going to struggle to even make it over. Let's see how far it gets. Um, yeah, not very far. Can it land on its wheels? Uh, it's two less than it had originally. Yeah, didn't fare too well. I think the clear winner there was the uh, buggy, but I like the monster truck. My favourite of all three vehicles was the monster truck there. I do have one more vehicle to show you guys. Now, this one is awesome. It's not a car. You saw it earlier probably when I flipped through here. So the last thing I want to show you is this. The scrumptious Star Wars 8080, or ATAT, -AT, as we used to call it when I was a kid. Of course, from Star Wars Empire Strikes Back. That's an awesome build by the look of this. And he does state that it can actually walk. Now, this is by Scrumptious. Let's read what he has to say. Here is my new masterpiece. At first, I have to say it can walk and it's huge. I hope you like it. It took too much time, but it's done now. WSWSW to walk. H turns on the lights, which is important. So we state, so we'll do that. To open the loading ramp, page up to 100%. And Alt mode, page up to 100%. Okay. There are two Easter eggs inside, can you find them? So Alt and Page Up and Page Up on its own to do the loading maps. Okay, and H for the lights, WS, WS to walk. Let's spawn this thing in then and give it a go. Well, it's taking a while to load. There you go, we got it. And let's bring it into the world. Come on, you can do it. Oh, there it is. Now this is pretty awesome. Oh, oh, oh. That moved his leg. Okay, let's... H, he said, was lights. I don't see any lights come on there. Let's just back out. H. Where were the lights then? He said lights. I don't see lights. Uh, H did nothing. Okay, page up was the loading ramp. Did you see a loading ramp? Ah, oh, there. Okay. That is the cockpit there. Anything in the cockpit? Oh. Okay. Tells us all the uh, weapons and uh, all the statistics on there. That's cool. Position of the Jedi unknown. Position of power plant. <laughs> Destroy the enemy power, the shields and the cannons. Yeah, that's cool. I've gone to a lot of detail in this. It's awesome. Yeah, I definitely have to say hats off to you, Scrumptious. This is an awesome, awesome build. 
Can't find your Easter eggs unless they were your Easter eggs. But um, yeah, awesome build. Nonetheless, I love it. Now let's see then how this thing walks. He said WSWS. Let's put that ramp away. Now we take Alt, page down. There you go. Put the ramp away. And it is in. Okay then, so what about the walking? When I hold down Alt to move it around, we do get the head kind of moving, which is awesome. Oh, it can shoot cannons. I love it. W. Get those feet down. S. Come on, boy, you can do it. Get those feet down. And. W. Go on, Spexy. You can walk. You can do this. Bits are breaking off him, but it is kind of working. There we go. W and S. We can't carry on like this. He's losing toes and all sorts. But it is working. This is awesome, Scrumptious. How the hell did you do this? And we'll keep going. He's losing part of his leg. I don't know how much further we can actually do this for. But we've walked quite a distance away from the old uh, garage there. He's still going. He still hasn't fallen over. Quite stable, really. Let's fire off those guns there. I can't believe this is still actually going and I haven't fallen over yet. Oh, he's going. He's going. Surely he can't hold on any longer. Oh, he is down. Now, he lasted pretty well, to be honest. I wasn't expecting that. Pretty Lost a leg. <laughs> pretty awesome, though. That is an absolutely spectacular build, have to say. Now, how do I get one of them lined up to take on a building? That's what I... Oh, Spexy killed in action. Getting out of his ATAT. Uh, yeah, wasn't an easy task. <laughs> okay, can I get back in it? Probably not. Will I spawn a new one? Two of those in a world might be a little bit too much, but let's try it. Now, I don't think I can turn. That's the only problem. And I wonder if I can aim these guns at the other ATAT -AT down there. Oh, kind of. Oh, boom. Uh, yeah, it's definitely destructive. The guns do work also. So awesome work, Scrumptious, I have to say. I am very, very impressed with what you guys, all of you, can make with this game. Now, I may have to come back at Brick Rigs at some point because it is getting better. I have kind of neglected it, I guess. If you guys want to see more Brick Rigs by me, then obviously let me know in the comment section below. Can't say I'll build, I don't know, but I definitely will showcase what you guys build. And if you have built something you think worthy of me showcasing, let me know and I'll take a look. In the meantime, of course, if you enjoyed this video, as always, why not smack the hell out of that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe for more retrospect. And until next time, see you soon and bye for now.